An overactive bladder is a condition where the bladder can hold urine normally. One of the most common symptoms of this health problem is urinary incontinence or leaking of urine. Many people suffer in silence, but if you're currently experiencing a bladder related difficulty, you're not alone. It's estimated at least 33 million Americans have an overactive bladder. Sometimes a person experiencing an overactive bladder doesn't have an underlying health problem. Other times the overactive bladder can be the result of medications or other more serious health issues like diabetes, kidney disease, multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease. An overactive bladder can occur after surgery or childbirth. People with an overactive bladder typically have to urinate more than eight times per day or more than once per night. It's crucial to address the overactive bladder symptoms right away. The early treatment can reduce or even completely get rid of the highly unwanted symptoms. With some time and effort, there are several very doable natural ways that you can overcome an overactive bladder. Overactive bladder is a syndrome or a set of symptoms that's believed to be due to the sudden contraction of the muscles in the wall of the bladder. When you have overactive bladder syndrome, the muscles controlling the bladder function start acting involuntarily. This often leads to urinary incontinence or the loss of bladder control. The urinary leakage experienced by some with overactive bladder can be as little as several drops to up to several ounces. Sometimes the incontinence can be a sign of something simple like drinking too much caffeinated beverages on a daily basis. Other times the underlying cause can be something more serious. An overactive bladder is said to account for 40 to 70 percent of incontinence. When you have an overactive bladder you can experience urinary incontinence or loss of control over the urination. There's two types of overactive bladder. Dry which is when you have a sudden urge to urinate many times during the day and wet means you have the sudden urgent need to urinate and you experience bladder leakage which is also referred to as urge incontinence. Both dry and wet can occur without any underlying health condition. An estimated 60% of overactive bladder patients have dry overactive bladder with no leakage while 40% have wet overactive bladder with the leakage. The overactive bladder symptoms can differ on an individual case basis. Common symptoms include an urgent need to urinate, urinary leakage and frequent trips to the bathroom. These symptoms can be serious life disruptors during the waking and sleeping hours of a person's life. Having to constantly go to the bathroom and not knowing when you might have to urinate can cause a lot of stress. If you already have an overactive bladder then you know how important it is to be near a bathroom at all times. You're probably wondering just how many trips per day is considered normal. An overactive bladder sufferer typically feels the need to urinate eight or more times in a full day or a 24 hour period. This urgent need to relieve oneself might even exist when fluid intake is low. An overactive bladder occurs in both men and women. It's possible to have an overactive bladder at any point in your life but it's especially common in older adults. The prevalence of the overactive bladder in people younger than 50 years of age is less than 10 percent. After the age of 60 the prevalence increases to 20 to 30 percent. A healthy normally functioning bladder holds the urine until it gets full and then it's prompted to empty by nerve signals. However when nerve damage occurs in the body the muscles that surround the urethra, the tube that takes the urine out of the bladder, can become too loose. This undesirable looseness can then cause someone to become incontinent. Possible causes of the nerve damage that can lead to bladder leakage are back and pelvis surgery, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, radiation, a herniated disc, Parkinson's disease or a stroke. When a man or woman's pelvic floor muscles are weak, bladder control issues can happen. The pelvic floor muscles are like a sling that holds up the uterus and the bladder. For women, a pregnancy and a childbirth can often lead to stretching and weakening of the vital pelvic floor muscles. When pelvic floor muscles are compromised for this reason or another, the bladder can then sag out of place. The opening of the urethra also stretches and the urine easily leaks out. For women, the bladder often changes after the body goes through the menopause and this makes the overactive bladder more likely. 
one theory is there's a loss of oestrogen and this makes up the bladder tissue. Or it's just due to ageing or a combination of both. Carrying around extra weight is linked to an overactive bladder and to urine leakage. This makes a lot of sense since the excess weight puts more pressure on the bladder. Diuretics or water pills are very commonly prescribed for high blood pressure. These medications cause your body to get rid of water and salt faster through the urine. As a result, this can cause the bladder to fill up faster and to possibly leak. Other causes behind someone's overactive bladder symptoms include bladder stones, a urinary tract infection, urethral strictures, benign prostatic enlargement, or bladder tumours. Often, no apparent cause of an overactive bladder can be determined. This is called idiopathic overactive bladder. Overactive bladder is a condition where the bladder can no longer hold the urine normally. Often, there's a sudden urge to urinate, or you experience an accident. Defining symptoms is urgency or the inability to postpone urination. The overactive bladder is typically a chronic problem. Conventional treatment typically involves prescription medications, specifically anti-muscarinic drugs which aim to calm the bladder. Analysis of these drugs demonstrated none of these medications are obviously better than the others. In addition to the cost variations, there are also different side effects including constipation, dry mouth, drowsiness, blurry vision and dizziness. Even most conventional doctors will hopefully tell you to try lifestyle modifications before turning to the medication. In more serious cases, a doctor can inject the botulinum toxin or Botox to calm the bladder muscles. Again, this treatment is not without possible and often serious side effects, including urinary tract infection, urinary retention, which is not being able to empty the bladder completely, hematuria, which is blood in the urine, and fatigue and insomnia. If a weak pelvic floor is at the root of your overactive bladder, then Kegel exercises can help a lot. These pelvic floor exercises can be done anywhere at any time, and they benefit both men and women. When done regularly, they can help an overactive bladder. They trigger a reflex mechanism to relax the bladder. If you feel a tremendous urge to urinate, doing a Kegel before you run to the bathroom helps to settle down the bladder spasm and it helps you to hold it until you get there. You should significantly reduce the following foods and drinks that are known to contribute to an overactive bladder, like alcohol, caffeinated beverages and foods, citrus juices and fruits, soda and other carbonated beverages, spicy foods, artificial sweeteners, milk and milk products, and sugar and high sugar foods. Caffeine, alcohol and certain medications like diuretics are known to be major causes of acute incontinence, especially in the elderly population. Cranberry juice is surprisingly another thing to avoid if you have an overactive bladder. Although cranberry juice is often recommended for bladder health, it can actually act as an irritant if you have an overactive bladder. It's essential to drink enough water each day to avoid dehydration. However, if you're drinking too many liquids right before bed, you're more likely to need to empty your bladder. Many overactive bladder sufferers have nocturia, and this is the need to urinate several times at night. This is obviously very disruptive to a good night's sleep. Additionally, a really sound sleeper might not get out of bed fast enough, and they can end up unintentionally wetting the bed. To reduce this risk, and the overactive bladder symptoms at night, it's recommended to limit the fluid intake before bedtime. One suggestion is to not drink any fluids after 5 or 6 p.m. Another natural way to help with the overactive bladder symptoms, especially at night, is to double void. This means that you urinate not once, but twice before going to bed. To help to retrain your bladder, you can try to keep a daily diary of the urinary urges and trips to the bathroom, as well as any urine leakage. After you figure out how many times you're going to the bathroom, you can start scheduling your trips, adding about 15 minutes to the normal expected time. Even if you don't have to go to the bathroom, stick with the scheduled time. As time passes, you can increase the amount of time that passes between the urinations. This is meant to improve your bladder control. Delaying urination is another part of typical bladder retraining technique. It might not sound pleasant, but if you can hold it for another few minutes after feeling the urge to urinate, you can help to retrain your bladder. 
By gradually increasing the holding time, you can eventually and ideally go at least three or four hours without having to go to the bathroom. At some point, if you find you really just can't hold it any longer, use the bathroom. Using relaxation techniques such as deep breathing can help to make the delay time more bearable. A study published in the British Journal of Urology offers another natural treatment option for an overactive bladder, acupuncture. This study had 20 subjects receive acupuncture treatment once per week for a total of 10 weeks. Each treatment session lasted 30 minutes long. The results of the study were excellent. 77% of the patients with idiopathic detrusor instability were symptomatically cured. The idiopathic detrusor instability, or IDI, plays a role in overactive bladder because it's a common cause of the lower urinary tract storage symptoms, including the urgency, frequency and urge incontinence. The reasons to stop smoking cigarettes are basically endless, and here's another. Smoking not only irritates the bladder, it also increases the risk of bladder cancer. Smoking cigarettes can also lead to coughing spasms, and this increases problems with stress incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence occurs when the bladder leaks urine during physical activity or exertion, including coughing or lifting something heavy. Anyone who smokes and is dealing with an overactive bladder should quit smoking right away. The main symptoms of an overactive bladder can also occur in other health conditions like bladder cancer, urinary tract infection and an enlarged prostate. Seeing blood in your urine is not a symptom of an overactive bladder. A sudden and a frequent need to urinate is common in both an overactive bladder and a urinary tract infection. How you can tell the difference between these two conditions is, unlike the overactive bladder, a urinary tract infection also comes with other symptoms like discomfort while urinating. In addition, the overactive bladder symptoms are continuous, while urinary tract infection symptoms are sudden and they might also include having a fever. Overflow incontinence is characterised by the involuntary release of urine from an overfull urinary bladder, often in the absence of any urge to urinate. This condition is not associated with an overactive bladder. It typically occurs in people who have a blockage of the bladder outlet. This can occur when benign prostatic hyperplasia, prostate cancer or a narrowing of the urethra is present. Overflow incontinence can also occur when the muscle responsible for removing the urine from the bladder is too weak to empty the bladder in a normal way. It's very important to see a doctor to ensure a proper diagnosis if you're experiencing any changes in your urine or your urination habits. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatments or to book a consultation, check out my website.